What's going on everyone? Welcome back, Patrick here. And moving on to the next example, given a company's cash flow statement over here, over four quarters, we have to find the cumulative earnings over the four quarters. Number two, the fraction of the operating cash flow that was used for investing cumulatively over the four quarters, and then the fraction of the operating cash flow that was used for financing cumulatively over the four quarters. So notice this is a cash flow statement here. It's an indirect cash flow statement. If you remember from accounting, we start with net income, add some changes, and then we get the cash flow from operating activities, which is here. And then we have the cash flow from investing activities, cash flow from financing activities, and then we have the respective change in cash. And this is for four quarters of a year. Now, notice what they're asking is the cumulative amounts in all three questions. So what we're actually going to have to do is we're going to have to find out, we're going to have to add the amounts for the entire year over the four quarters. But we're only going to have to add the amounts. Notice number one, they're asking for the cumulative earnings over the four quarters. So that's the cumulative net income. So we're just going to have to add this. Then we're asked for the fraction of the operating cash flow that was used for investing. So we're going to have to add all these and all these, right? The operating cash flow, the investing cash flow. And then number three, the fraction of the operating cash flow. So we're going to use it for number three as well. That cumulative amount for operating cash flow we're going to use for two and three. That was used for financing. So then we'd have to add up all of these. So what I'm going to do to start off before actually getting into answering, let's get the total amount, the cumulative. Amount. So if we add up all of the net incomes, what we would end up with is 907,000. So that's actually the answer to number one. I'll write out the uh, answers in a second though with numbers beside them. So that is the net income for the entire year over the four quarters. Now the cash flow from operating activities, if we net all of these out, watch out for this negative over here, we would end up getting 804,000. If we add up all of the investing, the cash flow from investing activities, watch out for these negatives here, we would end up with negative 500,000. That was the cash flow from investing activities over the entire year. And then if we add up all the financing activities, we would end up with, um, watch out for this positive here. So we've got a positive, negative, negative, negative. All right, so be very careful you'd end up with negative 162,000. And now we just need these four figures here to answer those three questions. And so those three questions I'm gonna actually answer over here just to give myself some room. So let me erase this over here. And so number one, was asking what are the cumulative earnings? Well, it's just the 907,000, so that's the answer for number one. Number two, what was the percentage of operating cash flow used for investing activities over the four quarters? So what we would do is we would just take this value, the negative 500,000. Now that's a negative, but over here, since we're getting a percentage, you would just put the positive amount, the absolute value of it. Because the negative is already implied in the question. They're saying how much of the operating cash flow, which is positive, was used for investing. So notice there's a negative value there implying that it's used. All right, so we would just put the absolute value here, the 500,000. And so 500,000 divided by 804,000 would give us 0.6219 if you round it to four decimal places. And that's a decimal, so it would be 62.19%. So that's the answer 
to number two, and then number three, what percentage of the operating cash flow was used for financing? So notice that's a negative value as well. We would just put a positive here. And we'd end up with uh, 0.2015. If we round to four decimal places, converting that to a percentage, that would be 20.15%. All right, so not too bad of a question. Um, for number one, we're just adding, we have to add up a couple of things, the earnings, the operating cash flow, the investing activities, the cash flow from investing activities, the cash flow from financing activities. And then once you have those cumulative amounts, you can go and answer the three questions.